The West African Leadership and Empowerment Center has held its fifth leadership summit to address the setbacks seen in Africa's governing system and understanding the true meaning of democracy. Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Adeolu files in this report. The issue of good governance and transparency is not just about wasted money. It is about the erosion of a social contract and the corrosion of the government's ability to grow the economy in a way that benefits all citizens. In Africa, as in every region, it is the quality and characteristics of governance that shapes the level of peace and stability and the prospects for economic development. Our leadership is that, first of all, we don't... Uh we often don't get the right leaders and, they, and of course this comes to the process of getting the right leaders in place. And then secondly, our leaders, a lot of them don't, are not learning leaders. A leader is just maybe 50% of our problem. The other 50% is how do we choose our leaders? Um, what are the criteria that we use? Uh, what do we look for in a leadership, in a leader? Um, uh, you can have a leader who's good at talking, but very weak at uh, delivery. Um, leadership starts from followership. So we cannot continue to say we have bad leaders. When these people are from the society, they started as followers and become leaders. So if we want to have good leadership, good leaders, we must first have good followership. Corruption has long been an issue. But today, faced with multiple crises at once, the COVID-19 pandemic, the war in Ukraine, the ongoing challenges of climate change and the security situation in Sahel, the need for good governance has only become more urgent. Some of the level of flooding we're seeing is one, the nature of changing climate is a factor, and also the factor also of, of also bad governance. Because in some states, there are certain infrastructures that should have been there in the first place to be able to mitigate some of the effects we are seeing from this flooding. But they were not put in place because people who were supposed to do the job either didn't know what to do or decided to take away the money. It is not enough to work only on setting up democratic institutions and processes. These institutions and processes must be put to work by creating opportunities for citizens to lead healthy and productive lives. Ensuring that the government actually works for the public good requires informed, organized, active and peaceful citizen participation. Citizens must therefore understand ideas about citizenship, politics and government. Power is not served halakat. We must work for power. We must also for power. That's the language. We must also for power. You cannot just have power served at you. So we have to understand something, especially in um, political leadership, which determines a whole lot for any nation and any continent. We, the young ones, must be ready to participate and experience the, the real politics. When I say the real politics, it's the grassroots politics. The nature of governance is central because it determines whether the exercise of authority is viewed as legitimate. Legitimate authority, in turn, is based on accepted laws and norms rather than the arbitrary, unconstrained power of the rulers. Emmanuel Ulubobokun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.